All right, so today I want to talk a little bit about my this uh, Freud router bit that I have here. So this is uh, an 18 millimeter uh, router bit. I purchased this particular one to use to make dados for um, 18 millimeter plywood. This right here is a 20 millimeter router bit. This is the one that I actually utilized to bore the outer holes for my uh, quad hinge, my bitchdogs.co.uk quad hinge uh, rail guide. And as you can see here, it's pretty charred up and pretty uh, burned up or whatever. But this here is the actual packaging that it comes in. And let me just open that up so you can kind of get a closer look. So this is the 18 millimeter. Again, as I said, this one is the 20 millimeter. This is how it actually looks brand new. You can see there the size differences there. So this is the, um, as I said, the bit that I use to drill out all of the holes in my MFT. Um, I did, I drilled all of my holes at one time. And as a result, um, I think that that contributed to all of this char buildup. And also, if you look at some of my holes, there's actually a, kind of like a burn mark around the holes because I kind of just did it in rapid succession. I just wanted to hurry up and get the job done. So I didn't uh, take my time as maybe I should have. And as you can see, this is the, you know, the condition of the bit afterwards. Now, um, probably this could be cleaned up with some, uh, some type of cleaner. I just wanted to leave it like this so that um, you could see what it looks like after using the bit. Now, and originally I was not going to use this particular bit to drill my 20 millimeter holes and that was because I was going to get a bit that I felt like was more um, geared towards this. Now, when I drilled the rest of the MFT holes in this tabletop, I actually utilized the, um, the UJK PARF guide system and it actually works with a drill and this is the type of bit that you get. And that's what I use to drill the majority of the holes on this table. So um, that's another method that you can use to drill holes in your MFT. Now, as far as this charring, let me go back for a minute. Um, as you can see here, it also discolored my um, dust collection uh, deal here from the burning so um, something to kind of you know be mindful of when you're uh, drilling a bunch of holes I mean this is what you get when you're um, fairly new uh, to this um, craft you actually end up you know sometimes making mistakes that end up you know damaging uh, some of your tools or whatever so just be mindful of that so um, router bit by Freud made in Italy it does get the job done. So let me move on. There were a couple other bits that I purchased for this task, but they didn't come in in time. And that is the reason why I ended up going with the Freud. It was the one that I ordered on Amazon. It was actually the cheapest of the router bit options. Um, right here, I have a Festool bit. Um, it looks like it's the HWD2C. Open it up here. And you can kind of get a look at what that drill bit looks like there. And actually, if I put that next to the PARF bit, they look very similar in style. But this bit here is to be utilized with a router. And this one is for a drill. Obviously, you can tell by the shank here that this one is for a drill and this is for a router. So you can kind of get a good look at both of those um, bits. This is a 20 millimeter bit. And as you can see here on the paperwork here, it's got an eight millimeter shaft. So you need an eight millimeter collet. This isn't an eight millimeter collet, I don't believe, but this is a collet. And you're gonna need an eight millimeter one to use this uh, HWD2C um, drill bit to make these holes. So I do plan on making another MFT tabletop here in the near future, a narrower one, uh, because this one can be quite um, 
wide for all projects or whatever and I'm going to try that with this particular bit here now um, I do have another bit that is a 20 millimeter and that is this one here um, this is the HS SPI D2 D2025 let's open that up and take a look so if you look here it's got a 25 millimeter depth from in to this area here and then it's uh, 20 millimeters here so this is a 20 millimeter bit very similar to this one but this one has a twist to it whereas this is just a straight bit so um, you can get a good look at this bit here you can see that and you can look at it in conjunction to I'll put the newer um, Freud next to it. I have not used this one as of yet to cut 20 millimeter holes, but this is another one that I'm going to give a shot and try to get a comparison between um, using um, the Freud bit, the straight bit, and then also the other two. Uh, finally, I have uh, this right here is the HWD1915. And uh, this is for the actually the OF700. This is a specific bit for the OF700 uh, router, which would be this, uh, or the MFK700, I'm sorry, MFK700. But it actually on here, it uh, says OFK700. So that's where I got the OFK700. But this is a, a router bit that um, I purchased for the MFK700 uh, router. And it's a 19 millimeter bit. So those are the router bits that I have for uh, my routers, or some of them. These are the ones that are specific for actually drilling MFT holes. Not that this 19 millimeter, because this one will be too small. You need the 20 millimeter. As I said before, this one here is actually an 18 millimeter as well. The 18 millimeters, uh, and I also have a 12 millimeter as well, which is perfect for cutting uh, rabbits and dados for 18 millimeter and 12 millimeter plywood respectively. So um, it's getting a little bit late. Let me go ahead and see if I can make a couple cuts. So let me set the routers up with uh, these particular um, bits and then we'll see how they actually do. So I think I will go ahead and grab which one do I want to use with which? I set the three up. This is the eight millimeter, so I need gotta get the quarter inch collet for this particular with this um, the HWD20.
right, let's go. So this right here is your um, PARF guide drill bit. Now we're going to do the 20 millimeter Freud bit. So I had some moving around on that one, um, so I'm going to do a hole right above it just to kind of take out for my error of basically I didn't have my depth set properly. So let's do that again. some burning in the hole there charred and even around the edge but you don't have that with this hole this one here I was kind of moving about because I don't have the, the router fixed but um, both of them you know give you your 20 millimeter hole so now let's go ahead and use a uh, 1400 with the bit that is very similar to the um, PARF guide drill bit This is a different plug. I didn't realize that. So there's actually different plugs here. Just learned something new. So this one has a notch for the 1010. But there is no, the notch is not available for 1400. So I have to grab my other cord. All plug-in cords are not created equal, so I'll have to get a shot of that. If you look there, this one has a notch and this one does not. So 
different power ratings, I imagine. Wonder if this one has a notch. Yep. So the 1010 and the MFK 700 both have a notch on the power cord, which means that those cords are not backwards compatible. So far, now it could be router power, but so far by far, this router bit has been the smoothest and easiest to control. I mean, obviously with the parf guides, you have to use that, um, the jig with it, but this was, I mean, very controlled, very steady, and, and it just, there's no burning in the hole at all. So, um, so far this one wins. So let's go ahead and take this bit out. Then we're going to go with this bit. That last bit was this one here. This is a good bit. I like it. This is a pretty smooth bit as well. Um, there is a little bit slight um, burning with this particular bit. Um, however, it doesn't look nearly like the Freud. Now, obviously the Freud has a lot of corrosion on it. So what I can do is take that 18 millimeter Freud and make a hole with it to see how it looks with a, a newer bit. Well, so let's try that real quick.
So remember, the Freud is a quarter inch collet, whereas the, um, the festival bits are eight millimeter collets, the particular ones that I have here. This is the 18 millimeter, the brand new one, so we'll see how well it cuts and see if there's any burning. So with the 18 millimeter bit, there is no burning. Um, it went through pretty smoothly and it's a nice clean cut. So basically all of the burning has to do with the buildup of the char on the actual bit, which most people would probably say, duh. But um, this is the state of the bit after making, let's see how many holes it was. One, two. So after making about, this is about 50, uh, 50 cuts. This is the condition of the router bit. So I'm gonna see what I can uh, clean this up with and then uh, try it again on another day. All right, so these are options for uh, cutting 20 millimeter holes in your MFT. Again, this is uh, a drill bit for the PARF guide system. This here is a Festool router bit. It is model number HW020. Dot, mm, let's see here. Let me check the packaging again. So this is uh, actually model number HWD20. So this is a 20 millimeter drill style router bit. It almost looks like a Forstner, an aggressive Forstner bit. And then here you have the, the HS SPI D20 slash 25 um, millimeter, 20 millimeter router bit. So all of these can be utilized to cut uh, holes for your MFT. If you're gonna use this drill bit, you're gonna use the PARF guy system. All right, um, but if you're gonna use the routers by themselves or the router bits, then you're gonna need something like the LR32 system or you're going to need some kind of a router jig to um, make all of your holes. So anyways, um, just a little bit more information on the bits. This is a Freud right here. This is after 50 um, continuous uh, hole drills. This here is a Festool bit with a spiral cut, these are two straight bits. And then you have a drill style or Forstner style router bit. And then also just the UJK um, Forstner style router bit. So anyways, uh, hopefully this will help you. Thanks for taking time to watch the video and I'll see you in my next one. Take care.